Welcome to the installation guide video for Fly to Learn, powered by X-Plane. To install Fly to Learn, you will have to have a ISO mount software in place. If you're using a Windows 8 machine, um, it comes standard with a ISO mount software, and you can just double click on the ISO. For this example, we're going to be do installing on a Windows 7. Uh, PLTW provides a ISO mount that's recommended. Um, you can access this by clicking on the installation guide that is in the description of this video to get access to this. So I'm going to go ahead and begin through by installing this ISO mount. When prompted, select Run and select Install. In the event that you are given a pop-up screen during to install drivers, please select Always Trust and OK. And then select OK when the installation is complete. So now that we have our ISO software installed, we can go ahead and plug in the jump drive that was provided to you by PLTW. Once it is plugged in, we want to open folder to view files. And it's going to prompt for two. Um, you want to open up the one that includes the X-Plane 9 ISO in it. I'm going to drag it off to the side and I'm going to open up a second Windows Explorer. From here, I'm going to double click on the X-Plane 9 ISO file, and I'm going to just leave the default drive. In the event that you have this drive already in use, you can just select a different drive to use. Once it is now mounted, it'll show what CD drive it's mounted to. Select Open Folder to View Files and I'm going to drag it off to the side. On my second screen, I'm going to go to C, Program Files x86, and we need to copy this entire file into the folder structure on this machine. So once the X-Plane um, folder has completely transferred over to the C drive. Uh, we also need to copy this ISO um, directly to the C drive as well. Uh, X-Plane needs this as a way to verify that the licensing for the software. So we're going to take this and we're going to drag it and drop it into the same fly to learn uh, folder. So once the file has been transferred over to the same file structure, since it was transferred from a ISO or a disk image, we need to adjust the permissions of this folder so students will be able to write properly to the folder and save their situations or planes that they've created. To do this, we're going to right click, select properties, and uncheck the read only, and select apply. Select OK on this and it will adjust the permissions on all of the remaining folders. So once the permissions have been adjusted, select OK, and we're going to right click and eject or unmount the ISO of the thumb drive and remove it from the computer. From here, we're gonna go into our, our X-Plane software we're going to highlight all three of these, right click, send to, and desktop create shortcut. Once this is done, you'll notice you have shortcuts for all three. You have now successfully installed fly to learn To run the software, you will need to first mount the ISO by double clicking, selecting the drive that you want it to go to, or if you're on a Windows 8, it will automatically assign. Close the pop-up window and select the X-Plane shortcut, and this will launch the software. Thank you for watching this help video. If you need further assistance, please call 1-877-335-7589 or email technicalsupport at pltw.org.